Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Firefox version 123 that's just started rolling out. And Mozilla pushed out this latest release maybe 40 minutes ago earlier today on the 20th of February 2024. Now, to double check you have this update, as always, we head to our main menu, click on Help, click on About Firefox, and latest version and bold after the update has been applied, version 123.0. Now for version 1.2.3, uh, we've got two new features. We've got a fix, a change, our uh, important security fixes that have rolled out. And we also get an unresolved issue that's been around that Mozilla hasn't fixed yet in the last couple of upgrades. Now, first of all, focusing on the new features. And if we head up to the Firefox view, which is located, as many of you may know, to the top left in the uh, title bar, Mozilla say they have now integrated search into Firefox view. So you can now search through all of the tabs on each of the section subpages, which is found here to the left hand side. So that's recent browsing, open tabs, recently closed tabs, tabs from other devices and your history. So you can search through all those, all those different subcategories um, if this is a feature that you do use. And then moving on to the next. Um, apparently, if you are having any issues with a website on Firefox, um, yet the site seems to be working as expected on other browsers, um, you can now apparently let Mozilla know via the web compatibility reporting tool. Now, I must just say at the outset that I have not managed to get this feature to work. I don't know if it's on a controlled rollout. It is one of the main new features for version 1.2.3. Maybe I'm missing something but I'm not getting it to work. But um, if we just head over to a screenshot provided by the good folks over at OMG Ubuntu, and here we can see a image, and this will give us a general idea as more or less what to expect. So um, what Mozilla says now, you can let them know via the web compatibility reporting tool, which apparently can be accessed by going to um, your main menu and then heading over to report broken site, which I'm not seeing. So that's why I'm using a screenshot, just to give you a general idea. Now, um, by full, Mozilla says by filling a web compatibility issue, you're directly helping them to detect, target, and fix the most impacted sites, which they say um, will make your browsing experience on Firefox smoother. So this is just an example, and that is one of the new features where you can now um, report a site that, as an example, uh, is slow or not working just to give you two simple examples now with that report broken site which can be accessed from the main menu which i'm not seeing so i'm almost sure that's still on a controlled rollout and then there is a fix when translating web pages and um, mozilla say they are now also translating text in tooltips i.e titles and text displayed in form controls now this is a fix so um, obviously the translate has been around i think since firefox version 117 so um, as an example, um, Firefox now translates website tooltips. So just to give you some examples, that's when you hover over images and text displayed in form controls now as well. So just to give you a good example, um, if we just head over to uh, Wikipedia and we head over to the German Wikipedia, here you can see that obviously we have Firefox Translate. And if I click on that and I translate that from German to English, just to give you a simple example, over and above translating the actual um, text on the site, it now also translates the image and what that image is about if I hover over that image. So that's just a simple example where Firefox now translates website tooltips um, as explained from the release notes. And then moving on to something else that's been around for quite some time. I'm just going to mention this quickly. Um, it's an unresolved issue where some machines with older AMD CPUs may see image thumbnails incorrectly render as all black in file dialogues. Now, this has been around, as mentioned, for, for some time. And Mozilla says, if this is the case, updating the graphics driver should address this issue. If you are experiencing this issue with older AMD CPUs using the Firefox web browser. So just take note of that. And then just something else to mention is if you are looking for the address bar settings, they've been moved. So if we head over to our main menu settings, address bar settings can now be found in the Firefox settings search section. So you'll find the address bar settings now um, 
located now in and on the search page so when using the address bar suggest and you can now toggle on which of the different options you would like um, the address bar to suggest when using that feature so just giving you a heads up if you are looking for the address bar settings now over and above that obviously that's the new features the change and the bug fix and the unresolved issue and of course with every major version update we get various security fixes that have rolled out so for this we're going to head back to our main menu help about firefox and we're going to click on what's new and yeah we're just going to scroll down in the release notes to the various security fixes and in firefox 123 we have 12 security issues that have been addressed so as always with these major version upgrades they do roll out a couple of security fixes which do address security holes in the browser and out of the 12 vulnerabilities that have been fixed we've got four high impact which is your second highest after a critical so that's the first high impact is memory safety bugs fixed another memory safety bugs fixed and if we scroll up we get to the final two high impact and that will be a right at the top and that's alert dialog could have been spoofed on another site and out of bounds memory read in networking channels so 12 security fixes have rolled out and four of those are high, are high impact so nonetheless important security updates that have made their way into firefox 123 so and um, that's more or less what's new and as mentioned firefox 123 is now the latest release and started rolling out earlier today on the 20th of february 2024 so thanks for the for watching and i'll see you in the next one